Summer has arrived. So I was just thinking about like how to create a cinematic style, just because that's what we're going to kind of talk about now when I meet with Maddie and we're gonna have to kind of decide on what the style is. And I have a couple of thoughts about it. I want to shoot most of it around like 28 millimeters to maybe 24 ish. You can get much more of the environment and you can get a story told by working like that compared to when you just do like close ups, you have to have inserts or B roll of everything, and that means that you know it becomes obvious. Uh, when it is obvious, it's super obvious, and it's easy that you kind of go overload with the whole B-roll thing. So as much as I can, I want to have it in the scenes and all. And then if I can't, then yeah, I use B-roll, but as much as I can, I try to avoid it. It's also about audio. So I usually try to avoid music as much as I can. It's always a struggle because you always want to use music because it, it amplifies emotions and all that. But I struggle to kind of fight with myself to avoid it. So I always try to avoid music. We're fond of the same style, which is usually shooting on an easy rig. So just selecting the easy rig means that you can get stable but handheld feel and you can get that uh, movement of it being a little bit more organic than you would on a gimbal say or uh, if you just go handheld. If you go handheld you can do that for a while but then you're stressing out your whole body so <laughs> I try to avoid that as well. And yeah you can't get everything right but as much as you can you want to get it right. I mean cinematic to me. It basically comes down to just capturing a consistent perspective and then do that in a personal way. It shouldn't feel forced, but try to stick to it and have it consistent. But it doesn't have to be something that's consistent for a whole film, I feel. Like with Pearl of Africa, for instance, I switched perspective to get a feel of something changing. There is go out. Huh? There is go out. Please, for me. Honey, for me. Honey. In Uganda, I was focused on just like capturing it, like the, it as a pretty place, just to try to establish the place that she's leaving and doesn't want to leave. That that's a place that she loves and want to be at in Thailand when she arrives there. I wanted to capture the chaos and that it's a foreign place. I'm going to that place. Oh. So just like with a lot of noise and audio to kind of do that as well as like the subways and a lot of people. Uh, and just showing how lost they were. And then in the hospital I wanted to switch again to more intimate and really like just super close some wider shots but mostly close that's how i think about it and i think you need to kind of find a consistency within the story but it doesn't have to be the whole film it doesn't have to have the same style even though that can be a good thing but i also think that can be boring you want to switch it up look at 21 grams i think i think that one is a masterpiece in cinematography and cinematics sense of how the different stories switches. Another thing that I think can be good is to try to think about limitations as a good thing. Because it is a good thing. That's what creates unique uh, cinematography. So if you have limitations in terms of camera, in terms of location, you gotta be creative with that. You got that's what you gotta aim for. Like one camera creates one result. That is an advantage if you're trying to do some type of perspective. 
so use all your limitations to your advantage. Sweden at its best. <coughs> <coughs> I have a rope on the other side, which uh, we usually like go over and jump from. Living the life. One last thing. I've started doing coaching sessions. So if you want me to give you feedback on like a rough cut or if you want just general uh, yeah, tips on how to do things, you should check out that because uh, yeah, I can give you some pointers on everything from like uh, before an application if you're applying for funding, story consultancy, all those things or if you're in rough cut states even better because then uh, i can just sit down and watch the film and give you feedback on the edit and, and the storyline and, and all those things and and it's a discussion so like one hour session or whatever check that out but yeah let's see you later